Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom and today I'm going to do a basic tutorial and we're going to talk about the quantization in life. And I noticed that a lot of new users are a bit confused about what is what can quantization because there's there are three kinds, the global quantization, the clip quantization, also called clip launch quantization, and also the record quantization. So let's start with the global quantization because that is in charge of everything. So what is quantization? Basically the quantization means that all events, that means like launching clips or jumping to a different part in a timeline and so on, they are only starting after a certain amount of uh, a certain measure has happened. So um, here you can set the global quantization and by default it's set to one bar. So that means that when you, when you uh, launch it, it will, let's say, I'm going to start playing this. And uh, when you check, you see that it's actually only launched right when the second bar began. This, of course, would change depending on the setting. So let's try four bars, for example, because then it's much easier to see. So as you can see now, it's waiting for the first bars to be over. Okay. And of course, you can also set it to much, much sm smaller note values or to none at all. So next up, we've got the clip quantization. So the clip quantization can be accessed by clicking on a little L here. And here we can see the quantization is currently set to global, which is actually the default. And you can change the default in the live preferences under record warp launch. Here you can see the default launch quantization and it's set to global and of course you can choose any other value if you find that more useful. Global seems to be quite good most of the time. So it's probably quite good to keep it like that and then change individual clips to different settings depending on what you want to do with them. So here right now I could also change it to a fourth, for example, and then we start playback. And as you can see, it basically starts almost right away, you know, as soon as a, another quarter node would begin. So basically, that's for triggering clips in the session view. So you could set it to uh, 23rd, for example, to create real crazy stutter effects in the live performance, for example. Or, of course, you could also set it to four, four bars if a particular clip has to start only after, you know, four bars have really been played so that it makes sense in the context of the track or song. And then last but not least, we have the record quantization. And the record quantization is only accessible for MIDI clips. And we can go to edit and record quantization. Right now it's set to no quantization. Uh, we could set it to uh, another measure. Eighth notes, for example, we could set it to. And then I'm just gonna start recording a clip without having an anything in it. So you can see how it's actually, you know, um, instantly quantized to one eighth notes. So as you can see, it's all been perfectly quantized. So yeah, that's it. I hope you find that helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. 
If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.